can't believe I'm doing this. But the world has to know. Has to know what Hamas is making here. Taking over the entire hospital. A video of a supposed nurse accusing Hamas of blocking services at Al Shifa Hospital in Palestine's Gaza has gone viral after many social media users questioned its authenticity. If you hear me, please leave. Run away. Don't stay here, please. Some claim the nurse in the video is actually Hana Abutbul, a former Israel TV actress. France 24 investigated the video and determined that it was inauthentic. Due to several elements that we will explain, we have concluded that this video is a fake and that it is a staged or, as you call it, crisis acting. However, Abutbul denied the allegations. The video was also shared by the State of Israel's official page in Arabic, but was later deleted, raising eyebrows. A journalist also claimed he spoke to the medical personnel at the hospital, who said they've never seen the woman. Gaza's largest hospital, Al-Shifa, which houses 650 patients and thousands of displaced individuals, has recently been raided by the Israeli army, which alleges that Hamas has an underground command center in the hospital. Do we hate Joseph? Even though Joseph is a Zionist, he's an Israeli, do we hate him? Do we want to kill him? Do we want him destroyed? Do we want him to no! If the Zionists are telling you that their lives are in danger, the Muslims are after their blood, they are lying to you. We do not want anyone We want peace and justice for all people. The Muslims coexisted with the Jewish people for over a thousand years, okay? And I strongly recommend a book for you to go and study from a Jewish scholar. His name is Jacob Lasner. He's an American Jewish scholar and he has authored a book, Jews, Christians and the Abode of Islam. Jacob Lasner, a Jewish historian, he will tell you what happened to the Jewish people throughout the Abode of Islam for over a thousand years and the Christians. And then you will get the true picture, what the Zionists are trying to show you that these Muslims are bloodthirsty, they want to kill. This is a lie. If that was the case, why did the Muslims protect the Jewish people for over a thousand years against brutality they were facing at the hands of the Christian world? I say this as an American Jew. My children go to Jewish day school. I lead services in an Orthodox synagogue. Judaism at the center of my life. The first time I went to spend time with Palestinians in the West Bank, it was a shattering experience. The only thing I could imagine would be similar for American would be going to visit the Jim Crow South. When you see people living under the control of the state with no rights, they cannot become citizens. They cannot vote for the control for the state that controls their lives. They do not have free movement. They need a pass to move from city to city. They live under a military legal system. The consequences are more brutal than we can imagine sitting here. So do I agree with MIFTA? Of course not. I had a close friend who was killed in a suicide bombing. But Palestinians don't, you could have made the same argument if you went to visit SNCC and said, oh, they were connected with communists. Some of their people have made anti-white statements. The point is, what Ilhan Omar said is the, tr is the most important point. People need to go and see for themselves. I've never seen anyone who's gone and seen for themselves and not been transformed by the experience. We have a right to know how many Palestinians were slaughtered using UK-made weapons, how many children were dispatched <coughs> using UK-traded armaments, how many women have been slain by ammunition from the UK? How many schools, hospitals and refugee camps have been annihilated with the help of UK engineering? How much profit is being made from death, destruction and war crimes? And yes, what is, what is the government's price tag for humanity?